what's going on folks and welcome to another scum video i hope we're all doing well today we're going to be checking out this scum lock and loaded update v0.4 that's right almost halfway to 1.0 and again apologies that i'm not streaming today and it won't be a stream tomorrow guys but i will be streaming all through the weekend and next week as well the patch did drop a little late today and uh, a lot going on in my personal life right now. So uh, we're going to be checking this out here today as an overview. Then obviously the streams and the streams after that week. And then uh, we're going to start looking at uh, the actual patch videos that I'm going to make for you guys to check out too. Checking out a lot of the features. So very excited, very excited indeed. It's been a long time since uh, 0 0.3. So let's have a little look see and see what we got. So I'm going to leave the relevant links down below for this. And obviously the video from GamePies themselves. Uh, which you'll be able to check out here. Just to let you guys know as well, on the right-hand side here, there is a 40% uh, discount right now. So it's uh, 14 27 if you're from the UK. So go and check it out. Go and purchase the game right now um, while the price is down. Because when you do decide, it's always the way. Uh, that's when the price tends to jump back up again. So we're going to have a little look-see. So they do say here that some of the features might change and these are some of the first iterations. Now, I've actually played some of this, guys, and there's a lot of things that I've seen that are actually, that have changed that are actually really, really good. So we're gonna, they're looking at introducing the weapon maintenance and the weapon jamming as well. So you will have issues with your uh, weapon jamming. And just to reiterate, guys, we are literally gonna be breezing through this for the sake of the length of the video. Um, and I don't wanna bore you guys to death with going into detail with a lot of the stuff. You can check a lot of that out for yourself. Uh, on here too. Um, so we're going to have four different types of weapon malfunctions. So we're going to have uh, the bad round, double feed, uh, the round not loaded, and the stovepipe, which you guys can see here. So there are going to be four different types of weapon jamming. Um, as you can see in the images here, the ones with the white glow are the ones that's basically uh, for that. So the double feed is the bottom right, the round not loaded is the uh, bottom left uh, and etc etc for that one so this is going to change a lot of stuff and it does say here that there is a known issue but the mark uh, the m16 and the mark 18 are missing the stovepipe malfunction uh, and that will be in a future update as well guys um and they're talking about the, uh, the shotguns here and apparently yet some don't have the malfunctions what about shotguns, you might ask? Well, some of the malfunctions can occur in a shotgun, yet some don't. So some some will, and some won't, apparently. Um, so the, the shotguns can experience following malfunctions, the stovepipe and the double feed. Well, it makes sense, because you're not going to have a magazine on a shotgun anyway. Um, so that's the issue there. You can see the M1 Garand as well. You can get the clip jam and a bad round. Um, so that's going to have the malfunctions on there as well. And obviously with the pistols, you're going to have the same thing. The round not loaded, stuck bullet, bad round, and the stovepipe uh, as well. So this is going to be interesting. It's going to change the gameplay. It's going to change the mechanics. Um, especially if you're in a firefight and you get this jam. Oh, it's going to be so frustrating. You can see it already. So uh, let's have a look down here. You can actually see a little video there of the actual jam actually happening. Now, that's going to be a nightmare. I love the Car 98 and the M1. I, I, I prefer the Car 98. I love the bolt action rifles. So, when you actually get a weapon jam, you press R when the jam occurs, and it will go into weapon inspection mode, where the character will inspect the weapon, and a circular menu shows up. Look at your weapon to identify the malfunction and choose the correct method. If you choose right after the animation, the jam will be cleared, and you are free to fire again until, the, until you jam it again because your rifle is still dirty. So the weapon cleaning kits is something that's really gonna be handy here. And that's why they were in before. Obviously it would clean the weapon, but now there's a proper reason for actually keeping your weapon in pristine condition, so to speak. Um, now there is another video here, which is the malfunction tutorial, which uh, I would also link in the description below, which you guys can check out as well. So let's have a look at the, uh, let's have a look at the armor, uh, the armor, the ammo. Let's check the ammo out. So we got the crafted ammo, you now got armor piercing and tracer rounds. These look awesome in the video. Um, so check them out as well. Now tracer rounds do have phosphorus um, on the front. They're, they're phosphorus tipped. Um, and I've actually used these in the real world before and they are really, really uh, spectacular at night time, especially um, when, we, when I was firing it from a GPMG, general purpose machine gun. So uh, that was very fun on an 800 meter range. 
Um, so you got the tracer rounds, you have uh, the AP ammunition designed to uh, pierce body armor, and armor piercing is always generally black tipped, and also fired these in the real world, so really, 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 really cool. But I do prefer the tracer rounds. And obviously you've got the crafted ammunition, now a separate item from the regular ammunition. Crafted ammo deals 10% less damage to body armor and 10% less da damage to the body itself. So uh, shotguns have their own separate shells now. You've got the buckshot, the birdshot, and the slug. The slug is kind of what we've been waiting for for a long time. Buckshot is what we've had to deal for a long time as well. The slug, the new shell case is only one big pellet. I mean, you can see the slug on the right-hand side here. Check that out. It is just one giant piece. I mean, this is... Slugs will mess you up, and they're actually illegal in a lot of places as well. Buckshot's generally fine, a birdshot. But the, buck, uh, the slug's actually quite a dangerous shell. Um, so... Let's go to the next part, and here we go. So, what you want to do, if you press Shift R, and your character will take out the magazine, check how many bullets are left, and show it in your quick bar. So you can actually take your magazine out to check how much ammo you have left in there, or you can actually count it yourself. So if we start from here, has this ever happened to you? You're in a firefight, maybe someone is raiding your base, but it's flying everywhere, and you forget how many rounds you fired at the intruder. Have no fear, because you've added a new check ammo command. So you can now check the ammo with Shift R. It will take the magazine out, and the amount will actually show in the bottom left-hand uh, side, which you can see here, and it will show you down there in that left bottom left-hand corner. Uh, so what we're going to do is check out the weapon mechanics, and that's actually in real world, guys. What you would actually do is you would need to count your shots. That's something you're trained to do, especially in uh, military areas and stuff like that. You're trained to count your shots and remember how many rounds you've got before uh, you need to change your magazine. So uh, looking at the weapon mechanics, uh, first of all, we've got the recall animations have been completely revamped to give it a more realistic feel, more of a kick. So unless you have really high rifle skill, hitting someone over 100 meters with full auto will prove really challenging. Okay, that's pretty cool. I mean, like, I didn't really like the way the recall was before and it takes a long time to get your actual level up. Um, and there's a new switch fire mode and check fire mode animations, making it more immersive to lock and load for the fight. So, as you can see, they've got them animations in there too, so you can see they're on the MP5. You've seems to have fully automatic burst and single fire as well, so you can check that. Check fire mode is shift right mouse button. I mean, guys, you will get used to these keys. It takes a while. If anyone's uh, played Armor 3 or anything like that, you know there's a lot of keys that you're going to have to take into account here. Um, and uh, there's the controls specifically for that there. So obviously here, as I've just checked there, it did say free fire modes on the side. So um, you've now got the burst fire mode. The M16A4 now has the burst uh, fire and single fire accordingly, as it should be for the model. And the MP5 obviously has a three fire mode, single burst and fully automatic. Now this is something I'm really excited about, guys, because I I know I've been playing a bit of, yes, I know, Daisy. I've been playing a bit of Daisy. And this image here is something that is very familiar in DayZ. And I love this. I love the ability to go to scope, to go back to uh, iron sight. So for me, that is a really cool big deal. We all have little things that we, we look forward to. That's one of them for me. Um, so basically, let's start from the top now. For the purpose of the optics, which got their own overhaul attention as well, away with the black simplistic screen on the lens, Hello, the new sheet system of how scopes are presented. Scopes now have a more realistic effect on how you would look through them. Uh, amazing, but hey, what is that? You missed your target and now he's moved closer. Oh no, if only there is a way to quickly switch to iron sights for close combat engagement. Wait a minute, there is. And here you go, the iron sights kick in. So it's uh, control plus right mouse button. Um, there is also a new nifty feature introduced. You can now adjust the brightness on your scope UI by simply holding down alt and scroll wheel and set it to the most pleasing to your eyes, or even remove it completely, so you can actually adjust it to the brightness that you guys um, would actually prefer. So I quite like that, that's pretty cool. Um, new weapons, so we've got the RPK. The RPK is 76239, so it's the same as the AK. It's a belt-fed machine gun, uh, complete with a 75 round drum magazine, which I did find when I actually popped in after the update today. Um, just as it should be, this magazine is, is, is interchangeable with the regular AK-47. Uh, AK-47 magazines. So you can use the AK-47 magazines on the uh, RPK as well as the 75 round uh, drum magazine. Not sure if you can use the drum round magazine on the AK-47 though. Uh, I don't know. Well, it says it's interchangeable, so maybe. Um, 
and it does say, please take note, this is the first iteration of the RBK. More appropriate mechanics are coming for it soon. Now you've got the Sawn-Off Shotgun. <laughs> it looks like the Terminator. A new shotgun. Well, actually an old one, but no, it is shortened version of the M1887. I love that shotgun. Um, it can fit in your backpack way easier and weighs less. Support for the ability to saw off the regular one into a short coming somewhere down the line. Now, I'm pretty sure the M1887 shotgun actually came in with the patch when the mines first came out, which is uh, located in the D1 sector. So hopefully you guys will be able to see that. Uh, right, bayonets. Oh yes, cold blue still. Enter the bayonet. Several rifles now have the bayonet capabilities. That powerful melee thrust. We love a bit of melee thrust because I'm a massive melee fan. Especially on the server that I play on because it's uh, hardcore and the, the Zeds are a nightmare. So you want to melee as much as you can. You don't want to be punching those bad boys. So you've got the M16 has the M9 bayonet, the M1 with the M1 bayonet. All classic AKs with the new M70 bayonet. Car 9 has the VZ24 bayonet. And the Mosin has the 9130 bayonet. As you can see here. Pretty decent. I like it. Um, now, here's something that you guys are really, really going to like. Oh, just before we go back there, guys, sorry. It's shift plus middle mouse button um, to actually bash with the gun. So if no one knows, um, it's usually middle mouse button. For here, it's saying shift and middle mouse button um, for the bayonet. So the drive-by. Now, this is pretty interesting because this is going to be... A lot of people have been looking forward to this. Can you shoot from vehicles? And now they finally put it in. This is pretty cool. Um, so as you can see here, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. You'll be able to shoot while driving. And as far as I'm aware, shoot as a passenger as well. And it says here as well, uh, they've added the ability to shoot out tires and deal damage to engines too. So if you see a clown car filled with six people shooting outside, feel free to shoot back. Shoot at the tires. Take those tires out and then they can't do anything really. Um, and flat tires as well. So you've got to check, and I'm pretty sure they're going to be adding a tire, yeah, tire repair kit and the improvised tire repair kit. So you can make two different types. That's pretty decent. So flat tires make it easier to lose control and harder to accelerate and decelerate. Engine damage makes your vehicle unable to start. Makes sense. Now, if you're on the receiving end of these damages, aka one of the clowns in the car, you might wonder how to fix them. Tires can be repaired with a tire repair kit. There is also an improvised version. Engine block is repaired by the, t by the car repair kit. So you have the car repair kit now, and you have the tire repair kit. So that's pretty self-explanatory there. Now, they've added some new throwing animations. Um, as you can see, there is a short and long, which you guys can see here. Long throw, you now hold J. Short throw, you hold by pressing Shift J. And cook the grenade automatically applies as you hold the grenade. I've got to test that out. We'll test it out when we make the videos for it uh, next week. Uh, so they've also added a prepare to throw mechanic you can prepare grenades that have in your inventory so you can throw at any time so you can prepare to throw them so you can literally just throw them okay that's going to be interesting probably going to blow myself up doing that but it does say here if you want to throw your item just press g and the character will throw the said item if you had anything in your hands before he'll put it back in his inventory space or empty back slot in the uh, uh if eligible the character will then pull the previous item back uh, in hands, if there is no free space and the item will be dropped into vicinity. Uh, there, as you can see. As I said, it's down in the description. You can read this as we're going through as well. So now they've got some view changes as well. This is pretty decent. So they've, they call it the Panini effect. On the left, you can see the old FOV system. On the right, you can see... Uh, the change with the Panini effect, as you can see, the background of FOV still changes, allowing adjustment to your preference while the items in hand and hands themselves are still in the normal position. Keep in mind, there are some minor hiccups with the hands positions, and these will be rectified in future updates too. So, this is something that I, I instantly noticed in the game, and you can check it by going to Options and Game, and you can change it at the bottom. I think it's the very bottom one. Um, I could be wrong, but I think it is the bottom one in options and games. So the head bobbing effect. Now you can take the turn this completely off or you can actually have it on. A lot of people are claiming that they made them feel sick, etc. So it's going to be interesting to see how many people actually use that. Because I think there is, if you put it on a tiny bit, there is quite a bit of realism there. And, it, you know, not too much, but a little bit will be pretty cool. So... This apparently is a highly requested feature. And this has been a bit of a nightmare in certain places because you can clip through it and people see your weapon and stuff and they can see exactly where you are. But now you will have to uh, 
properly look around the corner as well. So look at the melee weapons and combat also receive some love. Overall melee weapons have been buffed and deal more damage to players. We have also added some much needed distinctions. Two handed weapons are now slower but deal much more damage. I need a sip of coffee. There we go. I was drying out a little bit there. So two handed weapons are now slower but deal much more damage. Bladed weapons do massive damage to other players but are weak against any type of armor. Blunt weapons deal less damage to players but also higher KO chance and deal more damage to armor, uh, armored opponents. And as you can see here, they do have uh, the MMA events. So they've got the boxing events in the actual uh, safe zones now and they've made it look really cool. So I'm interested in seeing that. So armors are set apart from these changes. Stab proof vest. It has uh, excellent melee protection but poor ballistic. Bulletproof vest has poor melee protection but good ballistic. So um, you can see how that works out. Armored tactical vest now has overall excellent protection. Be a tank. As you can see there. So they've made changes to the locks, guys. You can't make you can't make locks with fame anymore. You can't do that at all. You can't make locks with fame. And you will have to um, craft them as well. So you will need to craft them yourself. Now the audio is a lot better. Not going to lie. It is really, really cool. And I've even heard it myself. Went up to a, a river and some other audio effects I've heard as well um, are really cool. Audio is everything in a game for me, ladies and gents, and I think that is one thing that really makes it immersive uh, for us especially. So now you know exactly where the pesky sniper is shooting at from you, uh, from and bring Swift Avenger upon him, because you're going to be able to pinpoint that location a lot better. Uh, the hearing damage effect shooting from firearms creates a blast that cannot be ignored. This will cause shooters hearing to be impaired for a short amount of time. So if people are shooting right next to you, you might have an issue. If you shoot indoors, you're going to have a big problem. But you can wear the earplugs um, here as well. Combat helmet or attach suppressor to weapon to avoid this. Okay, so uh, death grunt. Since we removed the kill notifications, some notifications on players' death is in order. If a target falls into a coma, there will be no sound. But if the target dies outright, you'll hear the grunt, and it might haunt your dreams later, you monster. So uh, here we're going to be moving on to the ghillie suit. Now this is something a lot of players are dying to see, including myself. This is something that's really cool. And um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's a ghillie suit. It's awesome. And uh, they've added an M1 helmet as well. Obviously, they've got the World War II German helmet. Now they've got the M1 helmet in there. Pretty decent. Improvised gear. Three three new improvised... Uh, three functional items to the crafting repertoire, rather. Improvised bulletproof vest. Improvised stabproof vest. Improvised raincoat. As well. So you can see the improvised stabproof vests. And you can see the improvised raincoat, which just looks hilarious. Um, but I do like it. But apparently that gas mask isn't in the game yet. But that would be cool if there were some toxic zones. Maybe they're coming in. Who knows? Uh, new gloves. You know all the gloves you have lost throughout the years? Well, we found them and put them in the game. Cheers. And you can see all the different gloves. And there's a load of bug fixes, QO additions, and some new admin commands. So the QO improved reflections. Better temporal AA, which should provide less ghosting effect. I really didn't like that. More server client optimizations. And just to let you guys know, I've been in the city and it runs like a beaut. So check that out. Comment below. Uh, more streaming and loading optimizations. Reduce the fuse timer on flashbangs. Further balance of respawn points in events. Uh, there's some new admin commands as well for those who love the administration stuff. And that's pretty much it, ladies and gents. I uh, literally threw for, flew through that. And I'm losing my voice now. And um, what I'm going to do is there will be patch videos. And like I said, we're going to be streaming throughout the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. And then throughout next week as well, obviously, um, as, as we start a new character on the server. So, uh, obviously, at the minute, I'm streaming Monday to Saturday, ladies and gents. Be sure to come and check out the stream and uh, check out, come and say hi, whatever. And, uh, yeah, that's it, ladies and gents. This is 0 0.4. There's a lot of, lot of features in here. So, take, make sure to go through it. Test them all out yourself. Um, so, stay safe. Take care, guys. And I'll catch you on Saturday's stream. Peace out.